Today we are going to be trying out the Bright Eyes Gold Dust Under Eye Mask from OK Beauty. This is a Korean brand that can be found at Shoppers Drug Mart if you're in Canada like myself. And I picked this mask up for $8. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoy watching face mask reviews, I suggest you check out my ridiculously long playlist which I will stick in the stick, which I will put in the description box below or you can click right there to watch. If you want to know more about these gold under eye mask doohickeys, don't go anywhere. Just keep watching. So I've never tried an under eye mask before. I usually just go for the full face mask. So I went to OK's website and the information they had was a little limited. They really don't say very much about this product. It just says features two gel patches perfectly shaped together to target under eye area and, and ideal to use at any time of the day. Enriched with gold extract to rejuvenate the look and feel of the under eyes. Made with honey to offer an added boost of moisturization. And does it say anything on on the packaging um, just says it has gold argon oil and honey so for ingredients we have glycerin which is a must-have when it comes to hydrating ingredients it doesn't really moisturize your skin what it does is it helps hold water up against your skin and this prevents your skin from dehydrating next we have a scary sounding ingredient butylene glycol apparently it's safe Apparently, it's commonly used in skincare to help other ingredients absorb into the skin. Next, we have Peonia. So, oh, I can't pronounce that. It sounds like it's from the peonies flower. I'll put the name right here. But this extract acts as an antioxidant for your skin. And last, we have chamomile, which is an antioxidant and skin soothing ingredient. There is a teeny tiny bit of gold in this. It's the third to last ingredient. It's right there. Whenever there's gold in something, I always raise an eyebrow because when a product is only like $7, um, how much added benefit could there really be to the teeny tiny little amount of gold that is in this? Anyway, that's my two cents. Open and remove patches from the tray, peel off the film and place the patches under the eyes. Leave patches on for 20 to 30 minutes. Remove the patches and gently massage any remaining product into the skin until thoroughly absorbed. No need to rinse. Oh, this is interesting. Avoid contact with eyes and lips. Excuse me? Is this not an under eye mask? I mean, I realize I'm not supposed to put this in my eyes literally, but I mean, if I spontaneously go blind on camera, you're all my witness. There is a fragrance. It's not overwhelming, but it is there. So um, they put the mask in these little trays, which I do like because it makes the whole process a lot less messy. I wanna put this close to my eye, but after that warning label, I don't wanna put it ridiculously close to my eye. Okay, that's as close as I'm willing to go. So, so far so good. This doesn't appear to be going anywhere, although I'm gonna try and avoid making any sort of facial expressions just close enough to where it needs to be without causing permanent eye damage. So that was pretty easy. Um, there's just enough product on this so it adheres to your skin without being super slimy. Okay, so this says keep patches on for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, will do. So I will see you guys in 20 to 30 minutes. And we're back. So these things were super easy to apply and they didn't go anywhere at all. And I was watching YouTube videos and laughing. And I thought that the minute I started moving my face around that these might peel off, but that didn't happen. How are we supposed to do this? All right, it says, um, remove the patches and gently massage any remaining product into the skin until thoroughly absorbed, no need to rinse. Okay, I don't know about the whole massaging thing only because the skin under the eyes is uh is very thin so i might just like pat it in like i pat in moisturizer there's not a lot of product left anyway so in theory this is supposed to brighten eyes and improve elasticity i don't know about the brightening aspect i mean i have like a huge honkin dark circle right there where the only way i'm going to get rid of that is to cover it up that's just a given. So as far as the brightening aspect, I really don't see this doing anything. But as far as it being just a nice, cooling, relaxing mask, it's a nice option. There is absolutely no stickiness to this, which I love. One thing that drives me crazy is when I put a mask on my face, take it off, rub in the serum, and it just feels like my face is coated in sugar. So the gold that's in this is gimmicky 
in my opinion. I don't really think it does anything. There's not that much in here, and really, it's a $7 mask. Besides the whole dark circle fiasco, I do like that my under eyes look nice and hydrated. I think for myself, seeing as I'm a big face mask junkie, I prefer the full mask experience. I mean, I like this idea as another option for that, especially for like my under eyes. But quite honestly, if I'm putting a hydrating mask on my face, I want it to hydrate my under eyes anyway. So uh, I don't know. They're a cute idea, especially if you suffer from dry under eyes. I think it definitely does the job. Like my eyes definitely do look like they've had like a big drink of water. My dry skin isn't just exclusive like to my under eye area. I have dry skin everywhere. So for me, it just makes more sense just to use a hydrating mask for my whole face. Do I think it's a bad product? No. It definitely does what it says it's going to do as far as hydrating your under eyes. The brightening thing, hmm. I'm a little iffy on and I think the gold is kind of gimmicky. But for myself, I can't see myself buying this one again only because I like full-on hydration everywhere, not just under my eyes. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!